So we are at NIM now. Okay, so I'm going to begin with the concept of backward induction. This is going to give you a strategy for it, the game. And I heard people want to actually beat people at some game where they know exactly what's going to happen. This is it. So um, backward induction is just a fancy set of words for let's play forward in our mind and then go back to the present. Some of you were doing that in the in-class assignment. They said, if I had six uh, tokens left, I know who's going to win. That's backward induction. So we used the subtraction set one, two last time with 17 tokens. I'm going to show you a different way to look at this game. If I had only one token instead of 17, and my subtraction set is one, two, and I'm the first player, who's going to win? This is the easiest question you're going to get all semester. Yay. First player move. Can she win? Yes, it's going to be me. Right, because I'm going to grab that one token and the second player is not going to have a move. So I'm going to put a one there indicating that first player gets to win. Every time the first player can win, I'm going to put a one underneath it. If the first player can't win with that number of tokens, I'm going to put a zero. So what if there's two tokens there? Can the first player win with two tokens? Yes, yes because they can grab two and then they'll win. So I get a one underneath it. What about if there's three? Can the first player win? Yeah. No, is there a, something they can do to win? If the second person is not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> so do we not count that? Like okay. when we're doing, this is a serious question, when we're doing like our notes or whatever, do we just say that the second player is going to be smart and not make a silly mistake? Under no matter what, under what, no matter if you're playing my cat or if you're playing my husband, <laughs> who's really smart. <laughs> So either what case, can you win in this position? Yeah. You, could, you have two choices. You could grab one, then they'll grab two, right? You could grab two, then they'll grab one, right? So in that position, can you win? No, there's no way you can do it. So I'm showing that. You could grab one, then they'll grab two. Nope. Yeah, I guess you're asking, can they grab one and be stupid? Um, no, let's assume that they're going to grab two and win the game. So if you grab two, then it's the same situation. Then the other person will grab one, and you're done. So in that, no matter, I really don't have a choice. I'm going to lose in that position with the three. So here's the 17 tokens. What about if I had four? What could happen then? Right, I could take one and then there's three left and now instead of going back and playing the game further I'm going to look at it as if I remove one now whoever's playing against me is the first player and they're over in this position over here which I already know is a losing position right so if I grab one token from here then that puts the other player in the three case but they're first player now because it's their move and I already know the answer is zero right so here I can win by moving that person into a losing position. So I don't have to play the game like I was before and do a what if. I can just say, move one, now I've got you in trouble, right? I've moved you to a losing position. Now this changes the whole thing because it makes it so that instead of thinking about this as a game, all I have to think about is moving them to a losing position, right? So fill in the rest. Break up into pairs, fill in the rest. And it's not going to be that hard. Huh? See, see what happens. Fill in the rest and see what happens. 